Good morning, tubers. Welcome back for another adventure. So I'm going to take one hour. We'll put a timer on it. We'll see if we can't get this thing running. When I purchased it, right, I saw that I had more than 500 bucks worth of parts here. So that's why I purchased it. But its real value to me will be as a runner. So let's see if we can't get it that way. So I have one hour. I got to set up uh, the timer. I have all my tools laid out, right? If you only have an hour, you really don't have time to search for stuff. I mean, including my little gas tank and gasoline. Uh, starting fluid is up on the bench there. But I have everything sitting right here. I mean, the jump pack. We got it all. So let's see if I could do this in one hour. Let's get started. Very first thing, seat off. Gas tank off. And let me make sure I'm showing you things. I'm trying to show you the top of the motor here. So behind this thing here is the pulse generator. And the first thing you want to get going with the motor is spark. There are two wires that come out of here and there they are. And here's one and there's the other. One of them is green and make sure it's green. I could see it's green there and the other one's blue. So, when I hook up my portable CDI box to this, I'll be able to see that I have the red wire, the input to the CDI there goes to blue, done. The green wire goes to ground. I have a spark plug in here. And I'm just going to clip the second black wire to the spark plug. Then I'm going to turn this over and make sure that I have spark. Nothing worse than pulling on the string for a half hour and discovering at that point that there's no spark. I'm taking the spark plug out. This Wi-Fi compression if you don't have to. And, okay, let's see what we have. Yep, I have spark. That's all a very good thing. I'm also going to look behind this cover. Because they only have one Phillips head holding it on. And I just want to make sure that the advance isn't messed up and... You know, there isn't a frog or a lizard or something living in there. So, um, now, hopefully I have this magnified enough that you guys could see this. I'm going to bump it up a little more, I think. Yeah, I think you could see the top here. Now this thing goes around, this is your pulse generator, you got a magnet on one side of this and it goes by this and every time it goes around it causes a pulse. As this goes around faster, it's got weights on it and it actually throws it out so this thing has a mechanical advance. Now I'm just making sure the springs are hooked up because if the springs aren't hooked up it has a tendency to go toward advance and when you pull it kicks back and it kicks back hard like tear your arm out of the socket hard so all of that that's there as a matter of fact it looks pretty clean and good we have spark so I'm like completely happy here I want to check out the electric starter 
see if it is going to make my life easy today. Right, I got to turn this thing over, and I have to turn it over for um, testing the compression. If it doesn't start right up, I'm going to have to turn it over to get it started. So. You guys are paying attention, right? Where does the black go? Black goes on the body. Right to the starter. Okay, wish me luck. My electric starter or my clutch or both aren't sounding too good. Actually, the starter didn't sound too bad. It was really the um, the clutch, the one-way clutch there that didn't sound too good. So that's not good. <laughs> Something else to fix. Remember, I bought this for parts, but I'd actually like to get some parts out of it. So, I have spark. I'm going to give it um, starting fluid so it'll, it'll have a carburetor, right? Starting fluid should explode. So, all I really need now is compression. So, let's do a quick compression test on it and see what that looks like. a little bit that way you guys could see better yeah there you go I don't have a cameraman I'm a I'm a low budget <laughs> enterprise I spend all my money on all-terrain vehicles. Um, so, compression gauge on. There we go. And I don't think it sounded right. I'm also going to take the uh, the slide out of the carburetor. Remember. You should go with no restrictions if you're trying to get your best compression. Well, that ain't good. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's coming in somewhere around 30. It's not very good. Let's put some oil in there. If you put oil in there and your compression increases, the oil does a couple of things. It seals around the cylinder, and by doing that, you'll get your compression up. That's just motor oil. It also helps helps the valve seal a little better. Out of Valtese oil. I'm just kind of mixing it around a little by uh, turning it over. My experience is you need somewhere somewhere around 75 
PSI to have an engine start. I've seen them start as low as 60. I have to be honest, I haven't seen any start below 60. And believe me, <laughs> I've tried. There is a little bit of a trick you can play. If you have a low compression engine and you're turning it over on the electric starter, if you kind of miss the starting fluid into it, and you know, assuming you have ignition and everything else, sometimes um, it will it will start. The only thing you got to worry about is if your exhaust valve is staying open, it will also shoot a flame out your carburetor and ignite the starting fluid. Okay. So I don't know if you could see that. It's coming in at about 45. I think this engine is uh, done. I don't think she's going to start. Just for a laugh, we'll give it a try. And I have to admit, I am disappointed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm skipping a step. Um, you might also have low compression if your valves are staying opened. Let's do a quick check. Make sure the uh, make sure the valves are closing. Now, I adjust my valve so that they're making a little noise, and I don't know if you guys can hear that. To slap like that, that means the valve is completely closed, and there is some play in the follower linkage. So, we know the exhaust valve is slapping, which means it's loose enough to close. Now for the intake. The intake's loose. This cap is loose. That's not a good sign. That means somebody had enough knowledge. Could you hear that? That one's loose too. That means somebody had enough knowledge to loosen up the valves in the hopes of this thing starting. That went out easy. Some of these really fight you. It's hard to not get them a little sideways. Then it's hard to get them started. Remember, these things don't like have to be, uh, you know, crazy tight. So, what do we have left? Let's put a spark plug in this thing. Give it a nice hood of starting fluid and hope for the best. Maybe, maybe it'll surprise us and start. I think not. I think. It's never going to start at, at 45 psi of pressure. Right, I think that's just too low. There are four wires. 
that go in here. Obviously one clips on the spark plug. One of them goes straight in here to the, um, the CDI input on the pulse generator. And these other two go to ground, right? One's ground for the pulse generator. One's ground for the spark plug. So, told you guys I had starting fluid handy. Considering it's directly into the carburetor. Oh, that's not good. See how that that slides up and down? That means if I tried to start this with choke, it would probably flood. If it did actually start and run, it would be rich and lean and it would be a whole mess. Now I'm just start trying to see if this thing will pop over. But given its compression is so low. Some of these caps on these are also tough. They don't like to start. And this just happens to be one of those. got to get this cap on or you won't pull enough compression to start. There we go. So we have starting fluid, we have spark, we got the wires where they need to be. We have enough starting fluid there to light the world. Right. Set to choke. Sparks on. This has a spring choke. Chain starting. <laughs> so I don't know how much time has passed. Hopefully the camera's been running for the, all this time. And the clock says... Seventeen and a half minutes. And this puppy ain't starting. Luckily, I got enough parts out of this thing where it's earned its keep. Um, this fender, right, though it goes to a 200 ES, it's in perfect condition. And if you look at the $650 one, this fender is in perfect condition. And I have a front fender in perfect condition. I have good tires here, right? I got the grab bar from the other one. I got the trunk from the other one, but that that 200 ES trunk looks pretty good. So I really have enough parts here um, to put together a nice roller with plastic. That makes me happy. There's no use spending any real time troubleshooting this mess right it's um the engine doesn't run right <laughs> so a non-running engine you're never going to get it to the point where it's going to attempt to charge a battery i have the dashboard here and i also that's where the choke cable goes so that does exist which is nice the other one has a key switch that could move over about the jewel um, I'd have to look around to see if I have a jewel to put in here from somewhere else. Obviously, 
that's that. The gas tank looked decent, but this one needs a valve. The other one needs a valve too. So looks like I got a I got a decent roller here. I'm not I'm not gonna whine too much about the price. The other Hondas are happy to have this join the horde. I would have been happier if it brought it did bring some dessert. It brought a spare wire harness. Right? That's kind of like bringing, you know, a little dessert. Um, but chances are it's going to eat into my parts hoard a little bit. And about parts hoard, as an example, I have this one here. I got this one from uh, Andrew Camarada. Somebody abandoned it, threw it off a cliff. He found it and recovered it. Um, this one does not have an electric starter on it. It's probably a 200S with a rack on it. Um, anyway, I could pull that motor off. I won't have the electric starter, so it won't be correct, but it'll be functional. So there's that guy. I also have a 200, um, M or 200 E motor sitting in the, uh, sitting in the driveway that needs some parts that I could probably fetch off of this one. So I'm not complaining. I did fine on this one. Okay. I want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.